Saint Angela Morici was an Italian religious educator who founded the religious order, the Company of Ursula, in 1535, where women dedicated their lives to educating girls and the service of the church. This is now developed into the Ursuline schools in which we attend today. Saint Angela Morici was born in the year 1474 in a small town on the shore of Lake Garda. Angela had a tough childhood. At the age of 15, Angela and her siblings became orphans at the loss of their parents, and she and her sister moved to Salou to live with her uncle. Following this, her sister died tragically. However, she was assured by her faith when God sent down her sister, reassuring her that her sister was okay in the care of God. This remarkable happening called for her to devote the rest of her life to God. When her uncle died at the age of 20, she moved back to Italy to live with her brothers. When she returned to Italy, she followed up on her promise to join God and joined a Franciscan order of nuns. At the time in Italy, unmarried women were not allowed to leave the house and married women were unable to work by law. Nuns were the most educated women around, yet obviously unable to marry thus unable to share no their knowledge and wisdom amongst young girls in society. One day, while doing charitable work, she gradually became aware of how little education the girls had. These girls were not being educated in any way. In 1494, God sent a second vision to St. Angela of young girls climbing a ladder to heaven. This was God's way of calling her to help and educate young girls. Shortly after, she journeyed to the Holy Land on pilgrimage to follow the footsteps of Jesus. On the way, she had fallen ill and became blind. Despite this burden, she continued on her travels with the devotion of her heart rather than her eyes. On return, she stopped once again at the spot she had lost her sight. Whilst praying there before a crucifix, her sight was miraculously restored. This was God's way of showing her not to shut her eyes to the needs of those she saw around her and to never shut her heart to God's call. She brought together 12 unmarried women to join her that went out into the streets and gathered girls to create a central place where girls could be educated. These women had little money and no power, but they were motivated by their dedication to education and commitment to Christ. They met for prayer and lessons where they brought education to young girls. This initiative was so successful that St. Angela was asked to spread their innovative approach to the education of young girls in other cities. Even the Pope was impressed. Even though she declined this offer, it inspired her to make her group more formal. After many years of frustration, her radical ideas about women's education were accepted as a whole by society. Her association was called the Company of St. Ursula, or the Ursulines as it was more commonly known. This was the first group of religious women to leave the cloister and the first teaching order of women. After her death on January 27, 1540, she left behind a legacy of teaching and a strong, inspirational and educational philosophy. St. Angela promoted many things and encouraged her students to develop a personal relationship with God and to be well-rounded individuals, as well as being unique, dignified, kind, courteous, confident, courageous, just and to be respectful towards oneself, others and the environment in every way they can. We can adapt this philosophy into our lives today by being kind to others, generally respectful and incorporating God into our daily lives. The ethos of the Ursuline schools is based on the life and teaching of St. Angela Marici. Do not lose heart, even if you should discover that you lack qualities necessary for the work to which you are called. He who called you will not desert you, but the moment you are in need, he will stretch out his saving hand.